Is it strange if it feels like I've been waiting for this day since the day we met? It's been nearly two years now and I still remember every feeling that ran through me the first moment I saw you. Excitement, hopes, nerves, and above all, a tingly sense of calm and joy as if my soul was sighing with relief, saying, it's him, all is now well. And now here we are, ready to kick off the adventure of our lifetime together. And I couldn't be happier, nor could I imagine a more perfect partner. You're an incredible man, a delightful and wonderful lover, a devoted yet playful papa, and the most amazing thing to ever happen to me. When I look into your eyes, I see my rock and my haven, my love for my best friend. When we're apart, I feel unanchored and incomplete. And when I'm in your arms, wherever we are, I'm home. I want to welcome everyone to the wedding ceremony of Jeffrey and Jiangchi. I'm glad that friends from near and far can come, and I want to have you guys turn out a little bit and look at your friends and family. They've come here to support you on this wonderful day, and so I know they are blessed to have you here because you have been part of their journey as individuals and now as a couple. You know, it's interesting as we were talking in premarital counseling and just getting to know the two of you, that you are very similar. Your Myers-Briggs te temperament, the typology is the exact same. Your backgrounds are very similar. Your political views are the same and your family backgrounds as well, all very similar. You have this almost as if you're two peas in a pod created for one another. And we are glad and we can affirm that as your friends and family here today. Marriage can't be done individual. You are now together and you need to work together as one. And that's theoretical and that's really interesting, but how does one kind of give up their own rights and, and sacrifice for one another? And so I want to give you a simple practice, something for you to do. I want you to start replacing some of the pronouns in your life. Replace I, me, mine, and begin to replace them with we, ours, us. It's a simple practice, and yet one that has tremendous effect. It's not my life, my desires, my values, but it's now our desires, our hopes, our family, and hopefully our faith, all these things being owned together. Jeff, Will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the union of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Good answer. <laughs> Zhao Qi, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the union of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I do. Some of you come from China, some from uh, Hong Kong, and some from Taiwan, some from Los Angeles, some from uh, East Coast. Um, I believe with your blessing, Jeff and Judge, you will have a beautiful, wonderful new life together. Jiao 
Mochi and I have known each other for 24 years and one day. Yesterday was our friend anniversary. <laughs> we met in kindergarten. One day, I was, during recess, I was sitting outside by myself, and Zhao Chi came up to me, and she asked, do you want to be friends? Of course, I said, yes and we became inseparable. We used to beg our parents for sleepovers every night, and we'd even butter them up beforehand just to make sure they would say yes. We used to pass notes to each other written in multicolored pens. Uh, after it rained, we would rescue earthworms from the sidewalk. We even promised each other never to get married and live in a duplex together so that we could spend even more time together. I live in a townhouse right now and there are vacancies. <laughs> Just saying. My lovely wife, Surin, and I decided to make a miracle come true and then come with Zhao Chi. Ever since she joined our family, she has brought us a lot of happiness and joys. Right? And what's even better is she brings this magnificent young man, Jeff, to us. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and what's good about Jeff is he brings beautiful, marine, and wonderful Joe to us. Yes. <laughs> now we are really a big, happy, Family. unsolicited advice to the wedding couple. I was told by a reliable source that marriage is a 50-50 partnership. That guy's a moron, okay? Jeff, you've lost all control. Good luck. You're done for, okay? Um, also, I have a gift floating around. Uh, it is at my table. Last I saw, there is a petition floating around as a gift to you guys that uh, all of us who sign this will not ask you when you're going to have kids. So we're going to circulate that to as many people and as many signatures as we can get. James has it at our table. I met Jeff our freshman year at Johns Hopkins um, and we were uh, immediately best friends. With a disclaimer, uh, we both had a lot of stereotypes. Jeff thought I was a dumb white jock. I thought that he was a non-English speaking musician Fortunately, we quickly figured out that we were actually very similar people. Um, and after many hangouts, meals, and video game binges, we really, we really got to know each other. And we're as close as brothers now. And he's just a fantastic, fantastic guy. We're uh, actually uh, very proud of uh, what Jeff has accomplished so far in his young age. So we give thanks to God for blessing this marriage. And uh, it's a wonderful uh, family that, as you can see, that uh, Mr. Uh, Chung yet and Mrs. Uh, Suling yet, and we're very happy uh, to have this marriage uh, relationship with them and uh, going forward. off to a Pinkberry date. The next time I saw her, she was beaming with joy. She, she looked so happy and she was so excited. 
And so I, was, I asked her, like, so how did it go? The first thing she said was, he's really into Twilight. <laughs> For those of you who don't know what Twilight is, it is a vampire romance series very popular amongst teenage girls. <laughs> Hmm, interesting, I thought. I really have to meet this guy. It wasn't long before I actually met Jeff and found out what a phenomenal guy he is and what a great match they are. They're both so sweet, thoughtful, really intelligent. And I'm so happy to be here to witness the marriage between these two. When they got engaged, Jeff frantically, as he always is on his cell phone, texted, called, contacted all of his friends to tell us about Jiaochi, to bring her around so that we could meet her to prove she existed, to gain our, I think it was to gain our approval, um, but really it was just to show how great of a person she was. So she slowly met each of us, and every time she met one of us, a text message was sent back and forth secretly okay, between us guys, affirming that she was a pretty cool girl. I think I was one of the last ones to meet her, and you know, after something gets built up over and over again, there's just absolutely no way that, you know, it'll be to that level. And immediately when I met her, I realized how genuine, kind, and a loving person she really is, and how she loved and supported Jeff and everything he did. So I'm very, very proud of the person that you found. Lonely hearts strewn across the land They'd been waiting long for a healing hand My heart was there and I felt the chill when love came down and the earth stood still When love came down and the earth stood still I'm so excited for us. I know things won't always be easy, but I can't wait for all the adventures that are just waiting for us. I can't wait to take your name and be recognized as your wife. I can't wait to wake up next to you every morning and be able to reach for you whenever I want. I can't wait to feel my heart melt when I see our little boy furrow his brow like you, or when our little girl crawls into our bed to cuddle. Most of all, I just can't wait to grow old with you, to see how we build our life together. I'm really struggling with verbalizing how much her love means to me, but perhaps true love wasn't meant to be simplified into words, but rather expressed through actions. Thus, as your loving wife, from this day forward, I vow to choose you and love you every day. I vow to support, encourage, and challenge you, and allow you to do the same. I vow to love you faithfully through the good times and the bad, cherish the memories when we're happy, and to fight for us when things are difficult. I vow to always put our marriage first and to not become complacent in our love for each other. I vow that you and no other will have all of my heart unconditionally. Meeting you that day in October was my first dream come true, and falling in love with you was the next. I never thought I could be happier than I was back then, but lo and behold, you've gone and proved me wrong again. Today, as I get ready to become your wife, I can't help but feel excitement, hope, nerves, and above all, a tingly sense of calm and joy, as if my soul is singing with glee, saying, you're his forever, all is now well. I love you to the moon and back. Being with you makes me feel like the luckiest girl in the world, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life loving you. See you at the altar. Love came down and the earth stood still. I, Jeff. I, Jeff. Take you, Jiao Qi. Take you, Jiao Qi. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, to cherish. To love, to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And Jiao Qi. Would you repeat after me? I, Chao Chi. Hey, Chao Chi. Take you, Jeff. Take you, Jeff. 
To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love, to cherish. To love, to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Let me have the rings. Take her hand up on the screen. Repeat after me. Chao Chi. Chao Chi. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a token of my love. As a token of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. And Chao Chi, would you take his ring hand? Repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a token of my love. As a token of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Here we stay. So uh, I just wanted to thank everyone for coming. Um, I wanted to say a special thank you first to our wedding planner who put together this amazing event for all of us. So I really appreciate your help. And we want to thank all the people who've come from far away. Um, my uncle from Singapore. We have friends from China, um, Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, and then all the, up and down the East Coast. So we really appreciate you guys coming out here. Um, and you know, all of you along the way have given us some really good advice and I think as we progress in this new adventure, we're going to continue to need that advice. So thanks for all coming and just enjoy the rest of tonight. First time when Jeff actually brought Zhao Qi to Connecticut, and it was uh, she was uh, stunning, beautiful, bright, and sweet. Uh, I remember uh, patting Jeff's shoulder and uh, giving two thumbs up. And here we are, uh, we became uh, the family, and I'm very happy about it. And uh, we give, really give thanks to, to God for this, uh, to blessing this marriage, and to Zhao Qi. Um, we don't know how to treat you like daughter because we don't have one until now. Uh, and uh, we uh, certainly, uh, Meili and I will uh, uh, give our unconditional love to you and uh, we're going to be there for you at all times. We want you to know that. I'd like to uh, give a little bit of uh, advice uh, to the young couples and uh, to raise your future generation. It takes a little bit of tender care, commitment and dedication. And, uh, and you will see the result. By the power vested in me by the state of California, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife.
now you make this <laughs> your bride. <laughs> I want to read part of a letter that Jeff wrote me a few years back when I was going through a tough time. Uh, and I'm going to ask you, Jeff and Jouchi, to do something. It's a little silly, but hear me out. I want you to look in each other's eyes as I read this and pretend as if I'm speaking on each of your behalfs to each other. There's no way for me to even imagine what you're going through. And I know your faith will sustain you as well. You're one of the strongest people I know, always looking to support others. But it's okay for you to lean on people too. And what I went through previously pales into comparison to what you're going through now. But I want you to remember that you kept me afloat. You gave me hope at a time that I had the least of it and I needed it the most. Friends aren't just there to play games and horse around. True friends, best friends, don't necessarily solve each other's problems, but they do face them too. That is my prayer for you this evening. May you grow in your marriage. May you grow in your friendship. To Jeff and Jouchi, best friends forever.